What's up guys, Ryan here with Chardo Training. What do you do if you're 100% positive you're counting your calories correctly, but yet your fat loss has stopped and it won't resume? In today's video, we're gonna talk about true fat loss stalls and how to fix them. How we will proceed will depend on the answer to a couple of questions. The first question is, am I lean now? And for the purposes of this conversation, what we will define as lean is 10% body fat or lower for men and 15% body fat or lower for women. A good way to get an idea of if you're at this level of leanness or not is to take a look at this picture right here. I am at 10% body fat currently, and if you'll notice, I have a little bit of abs showing without having to flex and that's what you wanna look for. So in other words, if you have abs showing, then yes. For the purposes of this conversation, you are lean. The second question is, am I eating too few calories? I've linked below a calculator that's on my website, and if you're really brave, I'll put the equation up on the screen too. Take a second to put your information in that calculator and see how many calories you need to be eating per day. If you're eating less than 70% of that number, then you're eating too few calories. This leaves us with four scenarios. Number one, if you're not lean and you're not eating too few calories. Number two, you're not lean and you are eating too few calories. Number three, you are lean and you're not eating too few calories. Number four, you are lean and you are eating too few calories. Let's briefly look at how the body reacts to dieting. This will be important for understanding my reasoning for my answers for each of these four situations. As we die, our metabolism slows down. Most people consider this to be a bad thing, but it's actually a very good thing. It's the body's protection mechanism to keep us from starving to death if for whatever reason food becomes unavailable in a situation such as a famine. When we diet, we decrease calorie intake. And to counter this, our bodies slowly decrease calorie expenditure or calories burned until the calories that we burn equal the calories that we consume. This is called metabolic adaptation and it is a relatively slow process and this will be important later on in the video. First, not lean, not eating too few calories. This one is the most straightforward. If you still have more body fat to lose and you're not eating a dangerously low amount of calories, then simply decrease calories again or add more activity or both to create a calorie deficit again. Scenario two, you're not lean and you are eating too few calories. This is the most problematic of all four of the scenarios. What most people do when they're wanting to lose weight is they drop calories and increase activity by a lot right out of the gate. And I just explained that our metabolisms slow down to adapt to the change in our calorie intake. The level of metabolic adaptation that occurs is proportional to the size of the change in the diet. If you drop a few calories, then the metabolic slowdown is going to be a smaller change and it is going to take longer to happen. The more you restrict your calories, the greater and faster the metabolic downregulation. Remember, calorie expenditure will eventually slow down until it meets back up with our calorie intake. Now, in the situation I just laid out for you, there's hardly any room to take calories away now and there's hardly any room to add more activity. But what most people will do is they will try to do both of these things anyway and they'll eventually break and they'll go completely off the diet, they'll go off the walls and they'll just eat a ton of food. Now the person in question has added body fat as a result of the binge and here's the real kicker. Remember earlier when I said that metabolic adaptation was a somewhat slow process? This post-diet binge is not enough to speed the metabolism back up to where it was before the diet. So now the person in question has added body fat and they have a slower metabolism than before they started the diet. Some people refer to this as metabolic damage, and there's good and bad news here. The good news is it's fixable. The bad news is you're gonna have to put your fat loss goals aside for a moment. I know that's a big thing to ask of you when you're wanting to lose fat, but remember, your overall health is the most important thing here. Without prior knowledge of you, my rule of thumb would be to decrease your cardio by half of what you're currently doing, and also, 
increase your calorie intake by 100 calories. Continue to add in 100 calories every seven to 10 days until your calorie intake is as high as it should be according to the calculator that I referenced at the beginning of the video. And make sure to get your calorie intake up to this level before attempting fat loss again. Scenario three is you're lean and you're not eating too few calories. The first thing I would encourage you to do in this situation is to ask yourself if you really want to be leaner than you already are. If the answer is yes, simply decrease calories or add activity or both to create a calorie deficit again, just like in the first scenario. If you're satisfied with how lean you are and you don't wanna continue losing weight, then follow the steps that I just outlined for fixing metabolic damage. The last scenario is you're lean and you are eating too few calories. In this situation, you will again follow the steps outlined before for fixing metabolic damage. And while you're doing that, really ask yourself if you need to be leaner than you already are. If you already have abs, you really don't need to be any leaner than you already are unless you plan to step on stage as a bodybuilder, which probably isn't anyone watching this video. Do you fit into any of the categories that I mentioned in the video? Let me know which category you fit into down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And if you want to see more content just like this, then hit the subscribe button and ring that bell while you're down there. I will be back next week with another fat loss topic. As always, God bless you and your family. And I'll see you next week. When we diet, when we diet, we decrease calories. And to counter this, the body slowly. When we diet, we decrease our calorie intake. And to counter this, the body slowly. When we diet, when we diet, our bodies deep.